Hi, I'm Dan Parr with Pro Football Weekly, and Panthers offensive tackle Jordan Gross was one of the honorees at this year's Ed Block Courage Awards ceremony in Baltimore. PFW caught up with the three-time Pro Bowler and asked him what it was like going through a 2-14 season in 2010, which was the worst finish Carolina has had since Gross entered the league in 2003. It was extremely hard. Uh, I'd never been a part of anything like that. One year we started 1-7, and seven, turned it around and ended up 7-9. and nine. But to lose 14 games uh, is really a test of your willpower and see you see what somebody's made of when times are tough like that. And I think um, got a lot of young guys that learned a lot and, and grew. Um, we have a young team with experience now. And uh, it's a new era, new head coach, new coordinators. Everybody's new and uh, kind of get to start a new chapter. Carolina had some decisions to make on high profile players this offseason. And they still are considering their options with the first overall pick in this year's draft. But their first order of business was finding a new head coach, and they moved quickly to land a former defensive coordinator, Ron Rivera. Gross discussed his first impressions of his new head coach and the differences he's noticed between Rivera and his predecessor, John Fox. He seems like an intense guy. He's focused, he's got a plan, and he's a guy you believe in. Um, his words carry a lot of weight because he doesn't say a lot, uh, which is definitely different from Coach Fox, who uh, you know would chat it up like crazy. But it's hard for me. I was with Fox for eight years. It was hard to say goodbye, but I'm excited for the, the new part of the Panthers. Um, and excited to see what Coach Rivera is going to do with the team, with the talent we have, and you know, with the first pick. And this draft is going to be a major part of his, uh, his legacy. Rivera and Panthers general manager Marty Herney were on hand to watch Auburn quarterback Cam Newton's pro day workout. And Rivera said there were about eight to ten players under consideration for that first overall pick when he spoke at the Combine. Quarterback is a need for Carolina, but they can use help at several different positions, including the defensive line, cornerback, and wide receiver. Gross said he's not envious of the position Herney and Rivera find themselves in with a tough decision ahead. The beauty part about being a player is you don't have to make the decisions, and so that's something that I enjoy this time of year. You know, I've watched as a casual fan like everybody else has, and um, you know, people are talking about Cam Newton and Fairley and you know, other uh, receivers, like you said. Um, I, I really think that we could benefit from any good player. Um, we're a young team, we don't have any spot. Maybe the offensive line is a spot that's pretty solid. Everywhere else we could use some help. So, um, you know, I don't have a favorite pick and I'm, just, I'm really glad I don't have to be the one to make that decision. Part of the process for the Panthers decision makers is figuring out where quarterback Jimmy Clausen fits in the grand scheme of things. Gross watched Clausen go through the pains of a tough rookie season. He was thrown into the mix much earlier than the Panthers would have liked after the opening day starter, Matt Moore, went down with an injury. Quarterback's a tough position. You know, you get, you get a lot of accolades and you get a lot of criticism and it's all well deserved because you're the guy that's, that's throwing the ball and, and has the most impact on the game. Um, was Jimmy ready to play last year? I don't know. I think it's a dream scenario you would do like Aaron Rodgers did and come in and under a Hall of Fame quarterback and learn and then get the reins handed over to you and just succeed. That wasn't the case. Um, you know, I think Matt Moore and Clawson can both um, fight for the spot next year and it's definitely an open competition and if we bring somebody else in be a veteran or another rookie you know it's yet to be seen but um, it was a tough year for everybody and uh, you know especially quarterbacks. For more of the best coverage of the NFL follow us on Twitter and go to ProFootballWeekly.com.